I'm selling in a market in three days and there's still a lot to do. Within the next few days, my goal is to make five baby bees, seven turtles, three Baymax headbands, and five Baymax plushies. I also need to price some items, print some signs out, and also take care of some logistics. So if you want to see what market prep looks like a few days before market, then keep on watching. And if you weren't aware, this video is part of a series I'm calling Crocheting Every Day Until Market Day. There are already two parts out, so I'll put those videos somewhere up here in the cards or in the description so that you can also check those out if you haven't already. Oh, and another thing, as promised, I said I was going to give you a final update on my Magic Mind journey after trying it out for 15 days. And overall, I really do like Magic Mind. I started feeling more productive after four consecutive days of Magic Mind. After seven days, I could actually get away with having it every other day or every two days or just whenever I felt like I needed a little more push. If you want to try Magic Mind, I do have a link and code in the description that'll get you a discount. Feel free to check it out and see if it works for you. So it's currently 9.21 p.m. And I've been crocheting, I think, for the past three-ish hours and my progress is really disappointing. I've started out making some Baymax plushies. This is one of the originals I made. I did not write down the pattern for this so I was kind of winging some of it. Kind of failed with this one. If you look closer you'll see that the yarn snapped. Since then I have finished this Baymax plushie but Honestly, I don't think it's as cute as the other one I made, but it's still cute. I'm really not happy with the fact that it took me this long to make a successful one, especially because we are so close to the market. And so to make myself feel better, I think I'm going to move on to something else that's not crocheting. I do want to write the individual prices of my cousin Chris's products on the tags, so I think I'll do that now um, just to de-stress. <laughs> I think I've written prices on every single one of Chris's crocheted plushies, so that's done. Now I think I'm going to print out the sign that I'm going to have right here. Alright, this is what the sign looks like. It has my Venmo QR code and then also the other types of payment I accept. And I thought that having a scan to pay QR code would just make it easier for some people, um, but I do also accept cash and card. All right, that's the sign, and now let's print it. Ta-da, there's the sign. <laughs> Honestly, I think it looked better on my laptop, but Eh, still looks good. Now let's just make sure the QR code actually works. Okay, yeah, and it brought me to Venmo and perfect. Okay, so I've added prices to some items printed out my sign. Now I'm going to make sure I have a portable charger for my phone um, because we're gonna be at the market from like, I wanna say 9 or 10 a.m. to 8 or 9 p.m. on both Saturday and Sunday. And I'm gonna be taking payments on my phone. So definitely need a portable charger to last the entire day. Hello? Hello? You know where your portable charger is? My room, hopefully. If you find it, can you bring it for the market? Yeah. Okay. And do you have the cord for it with the USB? Uh, I think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where you put it? No, look. Okay. <laughs> Okay, please look for it. 
Okay, thanks. <laughs> It's 7.30 p.m. at the night before market day, and I'm starting to pack up some of my stuff. I also made three bees just before packing up. So I put the baby bees and the whales in here, and then I have this big storage bin of everything else. Also, say hello to my new portable charger. I got this at Target earlier today because my helper, Mr. Peachy Bits, was supposed to bring it, but he's feeling under the weather. So I told him to stay home this weekend so that he doesn't get me sick or anybody else sick. <laughs> I actually fit everything in the wagon. I can take everything in one trip. This is amazing, especially since I'm going to be doing this market on my own. All packed and ready to go for tomorrow. I'm gonna go get some rest now, but I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Boy, has it been an eventful few weeks. The original market I was supposed to sell at got canceled. And not just canceled like this one time, but like the entire market at this one location was canceled. I was notified literally the day before the market, less than 24 hours before it was supposed to start. I was pretty bummed about this because I had advertised that I was gonna be there in my videos and on social media. But then I was like, okay, let me sign up for another market with the same event organizer. So then I did, and this one was going to be at a really cool place. It was going to be outside of a warehouse that was converted into a like crafty um, handmade space. Inside the warehouse, different small businesses can rent out stalls so that they have a semi brick and mortar store. And yeah, I was really hyped for this one because I really resonate with the location that it was at. Um, but unfortunately that market was also canceled and the crazy thing is i was notified of this event cancellation with even shorter notice than the last one i was told the night before the market literally at 10 30 pm and i was told that the decision was made two days prior to me being notified so i was a little confused by that i was wondering why didn't they tell me earlier and why are they just telling me this now so the reason the first market got canceled is that that location was getting too expensive to rent and they had more regulations that made it really hard to continue having the events there. And for the second market, I was told that not enough vendors signed up for that event and so it was canceled. Throughout the last few months, I feel like I've spent a lot of time and a lot of money on an event that's that hasn't even happened yet so with the second market i was gonna do i needed to bring everything the table tablecloth um everything they were only supplying the booth space and so i spent maybe 200 dollars on getting a canopy and um, tablecloths and stuff but as you know the market was canceled so i feel like i've spent a lot of money and also a lot of time creating all my plushies for a market that hasn't happened. <laughs> At this point, I've gotten over it and I'm trying to look on the brighter side because now I have a canopy for when I do need to sell outside with a canopy. And I guess this gives me more time to make more product. <laughs> All right, so that's been my life for the last few weeks, but fast forward to now, I just got accepted to sell at a market with a different event organizer, and that's gonna be this Saturday in just a few days. <laughs> I've already been to this location before, and I know that there are always a lot of people there, so I'm confident that this one won't be canceled. The only thing is it's Sanrio themed, and because I signed up so late, 
I don't really have anything Sanrio themed. <laughs> also, I'm running out of white chenille yarn and I feel like white is a color that a lot of Sanrio characters use. So I honestly don't know if I'll be able to make enough plushies for this weekend, but we're gonna get creative. We might go back to using acrylic yarn if I need to, but yeah, we're gonna just figure it out. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Karina reporting to you after the market. So an update on what I was able to make and also how the market went. In terms of Sanrio things that I was able to make, I only made one Hello Kitty and that took a while to be honest. Like I said, I was running out of white chenille yarn. So then I decided to try to make some plushies with acrylic yarn. And really all I was able to make were some feet. So I only had one Hello Kitty and that one sold like within the first hour at the market. <laughs> and that's a pretty good segue into how this market went. This market was actually my most successful market thus far. <laughs> so after doing some calculating, my revenue for this market was $658. And this is a lot better. And I've come a long way from my first market where I made like $120 total. And this is all just revenue. So I haven't subtracted the um, expenses and booth fees. So in my next video, I was thinking I would break down the details of this market and share tips on how I multiplied my revenue by almost like five times. So when that video is out, I'll link it somewhere here. But in the meantime, um, I want to thank you all for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>